start the game in this uh, I, thought, I thought we started the game okay. I thought we lost our way in the second part of the first half. So I definitely thought we lost our way a little bit and they, they built their momentum. We, we struggled with their midfield three. I don't know if people would agree with that, but we struggled with their midfield three in that first, that second 20 minutes of the first half. Uh, second half, they definitely came out. And one of the things we talked about is the first 15, 20 minutes of the first half and the first 15, 20 minutes, they were going to throw everything they had at us. And if we could build and grow from after those moments, we'd be okay. Which, towards the latter part of the second half, I thought, you know, I thought we could have maybe you know, dealt with it a little bit better in the final third and snuck something. And then over time, you know, we had a couple of chances, but we didn't stick them away. And that's the difference. You know, Washington's a good team. We're a good team. So that, that would be how I would, I would figure out the game. Set pieces, I thought both teams could be maybe a little bit more threatening on their set pieces. We kind of, it's that risk reward, right? You yeah. know, we didn't, we didn't really put ourselves forward to go risk to put it in. And hence we didn't get the reward. Maybe the same today. The other? What did you say at halftime to your team? Get your, no. <laughs> uh, no, we, uh, in halftime we talked about a couple of things attacking. The one thing we talked about attacking was our possession had to move the ball a little bit quicker. And the second thing we talked about, once we got into the attacking third of the field, we needed to build a little bit more, maybe come back out and get out the weak side, maybe take them on more one versus one, rather than settle for a through pass or settle for a quick you know, combination. We, we kind of settled too much into it. And then defensively, basically we talked about defensively, a lot of times they'll play in, they'll set it, and then they'll look to play through. And so we talked about, you know, not, you know, keeping play in front of us, keeping our discipline in that first 20 minutes in particular. And then we just looked at the midfield shape and tried to match up the midfield shape a little bit better. And then, you know, Jordy could put a heck of a ball on goal kicks and stuff. So we talked about really reorganization for restart. So reorganization and trying to match up with the two in the middle of midfield in an aerial battle. Of course, we matched up with her and then they put five in there and she started winning everything. So. You know, that's, those are the things we talked about at halftime. But, you know, like I said at the beginning, we talked about the importance of the first 10, 15 minutes and the second half as well as the first half. What was the rationale for switching two and 19? Two and 19. You have two forwards outside. Two Never two told them to. Well, they just do it on the... Figure it out themselves. It out okay. Yeah, they, you know, maybe there's a little matchup. Maybe one of them's tried, tired of getting kicked too much, you know? <laughs> so he wants somebody else to have a go at it. I mean, no, literally, I couldn't tell you. I mean, we don't, kind of like I told you before the game, if you notice the, the central striker, I think 22, she stays central. The other two work wherever they want to work. The attacking mid was kind of, she got a little lost to begin with, but then she started to figure out how to get above the ball. If you think about the end in overtime, she was on the end of the ball that probably yeah. on the back post could have yeah. put it in. So she started to get into those attacking areas a little bit more. And if you think about it, we held the ball in those areas a little bit better. So, you know, applaud it for that. And then our holding mid, you know, our two center backs, our, our full backs, especially our right back tonight, Delaney, I thought she had a decent game. You know, she serves one heck of a ball and she got up and down a little bit more. It kept our, if you notice, their two forwards kept our, tried to keep our two full backs at bay by staying wide. Yeah. But we didn't connect well enough in the middle of midfield because we held on to the ball too much. We should have played out through our center backs a little bit more. Yes, and yes I should have had you on the sideline. <laughs> <laughs> Any other? Sure. Well, my question was, it seemed like you had the, the, play, the play in the first half, especially with our seemed to be on the right side of the field a lot, and there was a lot of space on the, space, in, yeah. in the other side. It didn't seem... It was hard to figure out whether your team, your players were recognizing that or if that was part of the way they wanted to play because it seemed like there was opportunity. A little bit of both. We, there were some areas of the field you know, that we wanted to try and target and imprint ourselves in that area of the field and then be able to spring somebody from deep out the other side of the field, the weak side. Because Washington did a very good job of keeping play on one side of the field and we, we got kind of stuck in that. The problem for us was we kept trying to solve it with our fullback. And because their forward kept kept staying on our fullback, we kind of gave up on it because we couldn't get out. So now we overplayed a little bit and then we turned the ball over. So 
so uh, as you reminded me, one of the things we took out of time was playing, you know, a 40 that's got to come find it, or a midfield player's got to come find it to open the game out, and then that next pass might be able to do something. So maybe playing one extra pass. Any others? That's the way I saw that switching the ball and going towards that open space. Uh, because you have those three forwards and you're going to tuck in, now you've got the space on you know, say the ball comes in, their left mid, or their left back going to their right mid. How do you normally coach whether it be in practice or just there? Uh, well, something, something, you know, something I think at it, it our collegiate level, it, you've got to give to get. So you've got to, you've got to give something up to get something positive out of it. And we'd rather try to get something positive out of it. So we try to keep our fours tighter together. So in order to make that happen, we had to give up something. And what we gave up was the ball out, outside. However, did it threaten the goal when it was played? So if it, it didn't threaten the ball, and so all we did was shift the slide underneath it again. And, and just, you know, went from here, here, and shifted underneath to come underneath. So we allowed that pass to happen because we, we weren't concerned that that pass was maybe going to hurt us. Mm -hmm. So, but I think in all games, if you're trying to win, you've got a gift to get. You know, we were trying to win the game. Is that good? Yeah. Very good. Anything yeah, else? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.